All right, let's print out a blank bar layout from Logic. Just gonna start off with a brand new document in Logic. I already have an instrument track made. I need to um, make some meter changes for this project so that I have something I can show them on the, on the score layout. Uh, let's say that at measure five, I'm gonna change to, I don't know, three, four measure five and I'm gonna need a, a, a MIDI clip in the instrument track in order for a score to be shown by logic so I can control click on the track itself create empty MIDI region if I hover over the right side of the region I can stretch it out to the length of what my score will be I made a 16 bar oh, almost 16 yeah 16 bar length project here. Next step, go to Window, Open Score Editor. It's also Command 5 if you want a shortcut. And you already have what starts to look like a score here. It's got uh, measures and staff lines and it's got time signatures, but it isn't laid out correctly. So let's go to View, View Mode, Page View. Now we're getting a little bit better here. Let's go to layout and set the number of measures per each line. This is under global format and maximum bars per line. I'm going to adjust it here under the part column to four bars per line. Close that window. Now I have something that looks like a nice blank score. Uh, time signatures are in place. Measures are there. Um, if I need to add any kind of a text to this, um, I can just grab a text tool. Type in like, let's say I need a simpty time in here. You know, or a picture description, something like that is possible. If I want to add any tempo changes over here on the palette on the left, I can grab a for example, quarter note equals, drag it to the measure I need it, and gives me the tempo at that section. The last thing you want to do is make a PDF of it, or print it, it's the same thing either way. Uh, file menu, print. Uh, you can choose a printer and hit OK, and you'll see the next dialog box. Um, but if you want to make a PDF in here, you can just select Open and Preview. And those last two steps are exactly the same as any program on a Macintosh computer.